Hello everybody, my name is JJ Manu and I'm an application engineer at RO Electronics. Today we will present the difference of behavior for stepper motors when driven in current mode control and in voltage mode control. For that we use the Power Step 01 from ST Microelectronics, the only driver on the market that can be programmed for both modes. We will show the voltage mode control is more efficient at low speed and the current mode control is more robust at high speed. The current mode control monitors the current through, the, through shunt resistors at the bottom of the bridge. In voltage mode control, the current is in fact not monitored. But knowing the resistance, inductance and back EMF of the motor, the voltage that must be applied can be calculated in order to reach the target current. Let's configure the power step 01. Two tabs are available, one for voltage mode and one for current mode. Let's start with the voltage mode. The voltage mode is calculated with the following equations. At low speed, the system is mainly resistive and at high speed, the system is mainly inductive. The higher the speed is, the higher the back EMF is. In order to have a stable current across the speed, the voltage must be increased versus the speed. This is done automatically by the power step 01 by a mechanism called back EMF compensation. This driver has a motion engine taking care of all the signals. For instance, to run the motor at 200 steps per second, the microcontroller just sends a command run 200 through an SPI bus. So the motion engine knows the speed. We have the motor where we measured a resistance of 6.6 .6 ohm, an inductance of 7.5 millihenry, and the electrical constant of around 0.01 volt per hertz. The electrical constant is rarely given in the specifications, but very easy to measure. We just need to turn the shaft of the motor and recording the voltage on one leg of the motor. All the terms to solve the equations are known. The device configuration parameters are for the back EMF compensation. Let's open the back EMF compensation window to calculate the parameters and visualize the compensation. In the motor parameters, we have the value we measured and application parameters, the voltage and the target current. Let's enter the value and click on Evaluate. We can see three parts for the curve. At low speed, the circuit is mainly resistive and the applied voltage follows this curve. At 580 steps per second, we switch from resistive to inductive and we follow this second curve. At 1,300 steps per second, the compensation is at 100%. It cannot be increased. The current will start to decrease at this point. Let's have the motor running at 20 steps per second. It is very smooth and a curve very close to sine wave, allowing very accurate positioning. As we will see, the current mode doesn't, does not behave so well in these conditions. We increase the speed 200 steps per second, 400 steps, and we reach the resonant phase of the motor at a little bit more than 2000 steps per second. And then the motor stalls at 2500 steps per second. If we continue to increase the speed with oscillations, the back EMF is unstable and the voltage cannot be compensated. Hence, the current follows the back EMF shaky movements. The current is not under control anymore and therefore the torque neither. By adding a load on the shaft of the motor, this dampers the system and prevents the motor from oscillating and stalling. A second solution is to switch to current mode. Let's enter the configuration for the current mode control. The shunt resistors on this evaluation board are 40 milliohms. The voltage is this resistance multiplied by our target current. And on the right, the timing for decay. At low speed, the current curve is more noisy than previously seen with the voltage mode. We run at the same speed, 20 steps per second, 200, 500, and at high speed, more than 2000, 2500, 3000. The motor does not stall when driven in current mode. To summarize, the voltage mode control should be preferred when motors are used at low speed. At high speed or in resonance phases, the current mode control is more robust and is recommended.